Hi friends of cocktails and coffee and donuts. Today we're looking at a question that nobody asked, but James Hoffman answered anyway. Can you make a liquid taste just like a donut and can you combine it with coffee for a good time? Now I happen to know that the answer to this is yes. What about a donut flavored cocktail? Let's find out. It's cocktail time. The idea to turn James's donut coffee into a cocktail was pitched to me by a friend of our channel, Josh Rozepka. He's a professional trumpet player based in Chicago and has a great YouTube channel if you're into trumpets. But if you're into coffee, you probably already know who James Hoffman is. World barista champion, author, businessman, influencer, coffee expert. James is the personification of coffee on YouTube. Let's just put it like that. To make the coffee and a donut, James infused warm milk with some crushed donuts, strained it after around 30 minutes and left it in the fridge overnight. The next day, he strained the milk two more times to remove any solidified oils before steaming it and adding it to a shot of espresso. He also recommends adding a few grams of sugar. For the cocktail version of drinking donuts, we're going to make a chocolate donut old-fashioned. Just saying that makes me happy. We could do this in a sous vide, but let's keep it simple and fun. We're going to blend all the ingredients in a blender, then strain the mixture and clarify it with milk. We'll talk more about how clarify this cocktail is later. Now let's make it. You could use different spirits as the base for this donut cocktail, but I chose Jameson Cask Made Stout Edition because it has subtle notes of chocolate, coffee and butterscotch. Since I'll be using a chocolate donut, this will work great. We'll make enough for two cocktails, so let's add 120 ml or 4 ounces. Whiskey will extract a lot of the pastry flavor, so I'll add just a quarter of this chocolate donut. Save the rest for a treat later. You can use any donut, but this will pair nicely with all of the flavors we're using. For sweetness I'm adding 15 ml or half an ounce of maple syrup. We want a rich flavor you just couldn't get from a simple syrup. Just use the mixture of the other ingredients and it will rinse right out. An old fashioned needs bitters and for this one I'm of course using coffee bitters. 10 dashes will give the cocktail additional character and balance the flavors. For the milk clarification to work, we need some citrus, so I'm adding a bar spoon of 6% citric acid solution. This will make sure the milk curdles and catches all of the particles. You can use the same amount of lemon juice, but the citric acid is a bit more flavor neutral than the lemon. Blend the ingredients for around 30 seconds to get the donut really incorporated into everything. Once that's done, I'll brew it over 20 ml or two-thirds of an ounce of milk. This might look weird if you're doing it for the first time, but it works, trust me. Just make sure you pour the cocktail in the milk and not the other way around. Leave to sit for at least 5 minutes, then strain it through a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth. Or a clean tea towel would work too. I'll refilter the first part that wasn't as clear coming through the filter the first time to get a better result for the time being. And like I showed you in the last Zero Waste Cocktail episode, you can use this puree that's left on the filter to make homemade ice cream. This is our cocktail, ready to be chilled and enjoyed like a perfect combination of an old fashioned and a chocolate donut. But this now clear cocktail will turn slightly milky when chilled and diluted. And this is known as a spontaneous emulsification or the ouzo effect. The oil in water emulsion is formed when water is added into the mixture that has leftover oils from the pastry. I tried leaving the milky mixture in the fridge longer and filtered it twice in the fridge. The result was slightly better 
but not perfect. A centrifuge at minus 20 degrees Celsius might work, but I don't have access to that, and that would be a bit extreme. So we'll just serve it in a coffee cup. Let's say this is an homage to the coffee origins of the idea for this cocktail. Since the cup is chilled, let's not waste any time and finish making the cocktail. First, we'll chill the mixing glass, as we always do. We already measured and balanced all the ingredients when we added them to the blender. So just add 60 ml or 2 ounces for a single serving before adding the ice. As the ice starts melting, the cocktail will begin to turn milky. Give this a good stir with plenty of ice. You can see it's no longer as clear, but we're aiming for the decadent combination of flavors of the donut and an old fashioned. Before straining, add a single ice cube to the coffee cup, just so we don't forget this is still a cocktail. For the final touch, since we used a chocolate donut, I'll add 4 drops of chocolate bitters. If you want an extra treat, don't forget you still have some donut left. This adds a gentle chocolate aroma, where you already get a donut too. And the first sip is as confusing as it's good. It's a delicious old fashioned, but your mouth is filled with the texture and taste of a donut that you could swear you just bit into. Even with the chocolate donut, this isn't too sweet. The maple syrup makes all of the flavors work together, with Jameson's Stout Edition blending perfectly with the donut and coffee bitters. The aftertaste is still packed with the savoriness of the pastry and a hint of coffee. Just to make sure we did it justice, take a bite of the donut. If you decide to make more, this silky cocktail could easily be used as a base for an incredible espresso martini. I love developing and tasting this kind of a silly cocktail. As James would say, You know, sometimes it's fun to have fun. That's all I'm saying. It's fun to have fun, fun to do something different. But what do you say? Would you try this? Do you think it would be better with a different spirit? Or maybe in a different cocktail? Let me know in the comments down below. And should James Hoffman try this? Help me get this onto his radar. And I will donate all the money this video makes in the next 6 months. To a charity of his choosing. It was fun diving into his work and seeing everything he does in the coffee community. We'd like to help out as much as our little channel can. And in line with today's episode, I say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Cheers! We'll talk more about how the... How would it... In line with today's episode, I say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Cheers! Dobrý? 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 Dobrý?